In this special episode of Aviation Connect, we introduce you to India's ace aviators and the made in India aviation products they fly. They tell us what it's like to be India's test pilots and showcase the capabilities of the aircraft they fly. Group Captain Anand, Chief Test Pilot for Helicopters at Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, introduces us to the civilian version of the advanced light helicopter Thru. In service across India's armed forces for over two decades, HAL is now strongly positioning the helicopter for India's civil aviation market, which is mostly dominated by foreign origin helicopters. I am Group Captain Anand. I'm the Chief Test Pilot on Helicopters at HAL. I look after the operations of helicopters uh, for test flying and other uh, related flying activities on not only the roof that you see here, but also on the light attack helicopter, light utility helicopter, uh, Chetak, uh, Cheetah, as well as Cheetal helicopters. Uh, this is our entire bouquet of helicopters that we have on the Indian Air uh, on, on our inventory. What we have here is the Dhru helicopter, which is undergoing civil certification uh, in terms for its glass cockpit and also for its engines, upgraded engines. So this what we call is the civil upgraded Dhru helicopter. The glass cockpit earlier, we had the glass cockpit uh, coming in from uh, foreign countries, which we had uh, integrated on our military helicopters. And now what we are doing, trying to do is uh, try and get a glass cockpit which is also capable of getting civil certification. And the same thing applies to the engines also. We are already having the Shakti engine, which is on our military helicopters, which can go up to six kilometers altitude up to the reaches of the Himalayas. So what we have he here on these aircraft, we are trying to integrate those engines so that we'll have better performance capabilities, better reliance capabilities, reliability capabilities. And also, you will have enough number of helicopters which are flying with these engines. These helicopters have been powered earlier by uh, Turbo Mecha engines, which has been later on taken over by Safran. Uh, now, what we have here uh, subsequently will be the upgraded uh, high powered engines, which are already there on the military helicopters, which are called Shakti. They are, they are being manufactured partly by France and partly by India at HAL Bangalore with a work share between the two companies. Okay, what we have here is a multifunction display. The cockpit is entirely what we call as the glass cockpit. And uh, we have four multifunction displays which uh, basically display the primary function display which is required for the pilot to fly and it also gives you navigation information on this which comes basically from the GPS or the Doppler system or any other requirements that are there from the individual customers. We, it also depicts here for the systems page which gives the health of the helicopter in terms of the engine parameters, the hydraulics and various other systems and sensors that are there. And what you see here is all the emergency requirements or the warnings that come to the pilots so that it will be easily known. And as you can see here, as I can also start up the helicopter on this page. So all the startup is done on this page. So you have each of the various multifunction displays can be used to look at any of these particular pages that are required. And as you can see here now, I can also invoke the map page on this particular thing. And it has got maps of various scales so that it can have either a head up display um, or it can have a north up display. And in the map, we have various functions which also gives you an embedded layer which will give you whether the what is the altitude of that particular place that you're flying. So it will give you also information whether there is going to be a strike or there is going to be an, a hit on the ground in case of bad weather and you are not trying to navigate. At that time, if the pilot knows exactly where the helicopter is flying and what is this, the situational awareness is much better than what it can be without these maps which are embedded with the information on the elevation that he's flying around. 
Then there are other various functions on this. The emergency procedures are also there. The normal procedures are also there on this particular thing. So the pilot can look at all these things and continuously update himself and uh, clear all the checks and path procedures that are required during flight. This is, in effect, is what is the glass cockpit. There are various other sensors, the electro-optical port, the weather radar, and these things can also be embedded in this. And the pilot interface to this particular cockpit and this helicopter is through this, and uh, we call it the uh, uh, display units as well as the control and display units. And uh, he can input all the information that is required for the navigation and to assess the performance of the helicopter continuously. The cabin in this helicopter has been upgraded to uh, VIP standards. So we have here about six to seven seating inside, but we can also upgrade it to about nine for uh, passenger version. And in case of a requirement for a troop version where it can be having a more number of people traveling, then you can have up to around 14 people traveling on this helicopter. I shall now go the seating arrangements that are available or the options that are available on this helicopter on the Dhruv. But what we are seeing here is the VIP configuration of the helicopter where we have put four seats of VIP plus another two more passenger seats so that about six passengers of VIP category can fly comfortably. If there is a requirement to increase the number of passenger seats as in the case of ONGC and Power Hands, we are planning to give about eight seats on this. In the military version, where it is a much more uh, restricted uh, uh, seating arrangement, we, have, we can carry up to 14 passengers. As you can see, the cabin is quite spacious and there will be easy, easy egress out to the emergency exits if there is a requirement. There are two emergency exits, one on the right side and one on the left side. So both are accessible to all the passengers if there is a requirement. And what we have done is the cabin has been furnished in such a way that it caters to the requirements of just not the normal passengers as well as various categories like the VIP and the VBIP. I'm heading the flight test operations at HAL on helicopters and what we do basically here is we are a team of pilots, test pilots and flight test engineers. So we do both experimental flight testing and production flight testing. The experimental flight testing is from the design to the certification. The entire flying that goes on from design to certification is uh, developmental or experimental flight testing. And when the helicopters and other things are produced in our factories, the start flying that we do so that it is cleared for production and then it goes on to the customers, it's called production flight. So this is the entire gamut of operations that we do in flight operations. As a test pilot, I have initially been in the Air Force. I was an operational pilot first, and then I opted to become a test pilot. Once I became a test pilot, for which we have to go a rigorous flight test course at one of the established schools. And we have gone up It's a one year's rigorous course, wherein we are put through a rigorous training uh, in terms of all the performance and flying qualities requirement, in addition to all the requirements of integrating various systems. So after having done that, then we are utilized in an establishment called the Aircraft Systems and Testing Establishment, which is part of the Air Force. And we are exposed to all different types of helicopters. Let us say I have, in my life as a test pilot, I have just not flown the Russian helicopters. I have flown the Indian helicopters and I have flown a few foreign helicopters also. So we have, a, we are put through a wide range of helicopters in which we do our flight testing during the course. And then once we are established as a test pilot, we do basic flying requirements for various integration of various systems on already proven helicopters. But what I did after that was that the only place where my entire experience and the skill sets that I've acquired in the Air Force can be put to use is uh, this place at HAL. Because as you know, Hindustan Aeronautics is the only establishment or the factory in this whole India, where my skill sets will be put to the fullest use in the sense that my experience as an experimental flight test pilot 
and my experience for doing various integration of various systems is entirely utilized at HAL. So in HAL, it I would call it the the best thing that could have happened for me to join HAL is because now I am able to prove the helicopter right from the design stage to its certification stage.